I want to pray especially for the people who are struggling today and have been, their lives have been upended by a lot of the wildfires. And so if you'll bow with me. Eternal Father God, in the precious name of your Son, Jesus the Christ, once again we come before your throne, realizing that you're God and above you there's no one else. We do seek forgiveness of our sin, ask that you would cleanse us. And then, Father God, we constantly thank you for your grace and your mercy. But Lord God, I pray now. I pray for many families that have been put out of their homes, their homes have been lost. Father God, pets, a lot of loved ones uh, been displaced. Just the air quality that's in our valley now, Lord God, that we're having to breathe. I pray for the firefighters, those that are up there doing the best that they can, and then all the individuals who are supporting them, various churches and various nonprofit organizations are coming to offer a hand of support. And I just pray, Lord God, that for their safety, for the well-being of their families and their homes, I just pray, Lord God, that you would just continue to protect them, lead them, guide them, and direct them. Then, Lord God, I pray for divine intervention in terms of whether it's rain, wind, whatever is necessary, Lord God. We just pray that you would bring it to put these fires out. Lord God, we, we, we just pray to you. We do confess any sin that we may have committed. We repent of it, Lord God, and we just ask and call upon you to do what only you can do on our behalf. So, Lord God, we trust you, we believe you, and we just ask that you be with us now and that you would intervene in a divine way on our behalf. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello, my name is Reverend Tony Douglas, and today I'm going to pray on behalf of victims of violence. Join me in prayer, if you would, please. Father, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for you've been our strength, our rock in times of difficulties. You're the only one we can turn to for help. So, Father, today we come to you on behalf of folks who are hurting because of violence. Some are marginalized. Some are the outcasts. Some are the downtrodden and the oppressed. Those, Lord, who are subjugated. Father, we pray for even the wives and the children who are suffering and hurting from abuse. Lord, we present them before you that, Lord, you will wrap your loving arms around them and keep them and uphold them as only you can. Strengthen them, Lord, as they go through these difficult times. Lord, we pray for those perpetrators, the ones committing these evil acts. We present them before you, Lord. It is natural for us to want to respond an eye for an eye, but we present them before you, Lord, because you are the one who can handle all things. And in addition to that, your words tell us that vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. So we commit these perpetrators before you. We place them in your hands, Lord, and we know that you will handle the situation in the best way possible. Father, thank you. We pray that you will give us a heart of forgiveness, a heart that says, Lord, I will follow you no matter what, even in these challenging times. Lord, thank you. Bless these children. Bless these wives, especially as they struggle in these times. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Greetings, brothers and sisters, Family Community Church. I'm Pastor Pat, and on this 10th day of prayer and fasting, I've been asked to pray and intervene on behalf of victims of violence and destruction. Would you bow with me? Abba Father, my Lord God, who sits above all, you left us written warnings and instructions of how to deal with the times, especially today during these disturbing times. We often repeat the verse, and my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray. We need to stop right there. Anytime we come before your throne, we need to examine ourselves and our motives. In this case, am I truly concerned about victims of violence and destruction? 
or do I just want you to fix what is making me uncomfortable? Get things back to normal. But Father, we know there are truly victims of violence and destruction of the worst kind. You warned us there would be plagues and pestilence and droughts with severe consequences, but consequences to our pride, our disobedience, our lack of respect for you. Current estimates indicate 200,000 plus may die of COVID in the U.S. this year. Again, we are alarmed, upset, want you to intervene, fix things, maybe so we can get back to normal. Forgive us, Father, for our blindness and lack of oversight as your church of truly one huge group of helpless victims. You send children as a blessing, an entrusted gift to families. Yet in this country, over just the last 10 years, we have aborted, destroyed, an average of 975,000 babies a year. The warnings in your word and the consequences of child sacrifice are harsh and severe. They are helpless victims. We pray wrong that you would open the eyes and ears of our political leaders. You established your church, people called by your name, as one of the most powerful force in the universe. As we humble ourselves, let the scales fall from our eyes to see what you see. Open our ears to hear your voice. May this month of prayer and fasting be the time to again know the whole gospel of Jesus is entrusted to us, your church. You have given us the solution. And then with our eyes open, while you keep telling us what we can do, we will close our mouths and stop telling what you should do or cannot do. In the name of our Lord Jesus, our Savior, who paid the price for us. Amen. Good afternoon, family, community, church. This is Deacon Love with his wife, Glenda Love. We have been asked to pray for the victims of violence and destruction. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for all those that have been harmed during these difficult times, Lord. We pray for the families. We pray for the loved ones of the victims. Lord. We pray for their, really, we pray for their eternal souls, Lord, that they come to know you, Jesus, more importantly. But, Lord, we pray for their hurt and their pain and their misery right now, Lord, that trying to recover from the loss of a loved one, especially for needless violence, Lord God. We pray for violence throughout our cities throughout our nation, throughout the world, Lord God, unnecessary violence because the Lord, the Lord loves every life and all human beings, Lord God. But here in America, Lord, there's is there are issues that are just standing out and the Lord is exposing all the, the evil and the, the, the depravity that's going on in our country, Lord God. We pray for the family of Freddie Gray and Sam Du Bois and Philando Castile and Terrence Crutcher, Alton Sterling, Jameer Clark, Jeremy McDowell, William Chapman, Walter Scott, Eric Harris, uh, uh, Tamir Rice, Al, Al, Al Kiai Gurley, Michael Brown, Eric Garner, Sandra Bland, George Floyd, Ahmaud Berry, Gianna Taylor, Rashad Brooks, Trayvon Martin, Lord God. Oh, Father, we thank you that you will help these families to cope and deal with the pain, Lord God, 
and the trouble that's going on, Lord God. We thank you for the families to recover. We thank you that you'll lift their spirits up and lift their hearts up as you lift up this nation. Lord God, we ask these things in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen.